Hey guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. This is your host, Thomas Henry from On The Hot Podcast. Today, this will be the Combat Series, Combat Series episode number 41 for you guys today. Of course, this episode is going to be coming out on all four of our platforms, our Instagram account, our Facebook account, our YouTube account, and our Apple Podcast account. So let's go ahead and dive into the first segment of the Combat Series this week. I'll be sharing my most shocking title changes in UFC history. So I put together a pretty unique list. I think these are the most iconic, most shocking title changes in the company's history in UFC today. Starting off with the number one most shocking title change on my list. The most shocking title change on my list, that number, uh, the first title change on my list is Conor McGregor versus Jose Aldo for the Featherweight Championship that happened in 2015. Now, this Featherweight Championship title change was really dramatic to me because you had Conor McGregor went on to defeat Jose Aldo, one of the greatest featherweight champions in UFC history, and honestly might go down as one of the biggest shock, uh, one of the most shocking title changes in UFC history, because it only took 13 seconds for Conor McGregor to knock out and finish Jose Aldo, who was one of the greatest featherweight champions in UFC history. Jose Aldo held on to the featherweight championship for a total of 1,848 days, and Conor McGregor landed that, uh, he landed that left hook to Jose Aldo, and that's basically all she wrote. And that left hook goes down as one of the best knockouts in UFC history. And it was really the start of Conor McGregor's. Uh, it was the start of Conor McGregor's start, or stardom, and his rise to the top in the UFC and combat sports, being a iconic figure in MMA history. It all started with Conor McGregor knocking out Jose Aldo and taking the featherweight championship from Jose Aldo, only needed 13 seconds to do so. That has to go down as one of the greatest title changes in UFC history. Starting off with the second title change, <clears throat> Holly Hollum versus Ronda Rousey that took place in 2015. Now, looking back at this fight, I truly believe Holly Hollum was always a threat to Ronda Rousey, but I don't believe that anybody saw this coming with Holly Hollum really being the one to end the title reign of Ronda Rousey. But back then, Ronda Rousey wasn't named the baddest woman on the planet for no reason. And she was uh, she didn't get the nickname for no reason. She was on a 12-fight win streak, currently undefeated at the time in MMA. But you had Holly Hollum in that fight. She went on to score the second round knockout. She was headhunting Ronda Rousey the whole entire fight. And her headhunting... Uh, was successful in that fight because she landed that head kick to end the fight to, round, to knock out Ronda Rousey, that huge leg kick that was heard around the world in all the combat sports. And it was an impactful moment in women's history in combat sports, especially in the UFC, because you had Holly Hollum defeat Ronda Rousey, the baddest woman on the planet, and she became the second woman in UFC history, become the Benamweight champion in UFC history in the women's division. So it was definitely iconic title change, definitely something everyone will always remember. And the next fight, this title change was really dramatic. When you had Juliana Pena versus Amanda Nunes back in late 2021, you had who, uh, uh, Juliana Pena. Pena, she was the biggest underdog on the entire two uh, on the entire UFC 290 uh, 269 main event card. Nobody in their right mind really believed that Juliana Pena was going to walk out with Amanda Nunez as Benway Championship that night, but she shocked the world in convincing fashion. That second round between Juliana Pena and Amanda Nunez, that second round where we seen that glimpse of them going toe to toe, strike for strike for 45 to 60 seconds, uh, 45 to 60 seconds, I get tongue tied, with both women firing on all cylinders, going back and forth with strikes. Uh, it was definitely something that. I don't think can be duplicated in combat sports. A woman just going back and forth but like that. But uh, Juliana Pena eventually got the best of Amanda Nunes in the striking department and eventually choked her out with a rear naked choke and, quick, and quickly made Amanda Nunes submit for Juliana Pena to become the new Benamweight champion in the women's division. Definitely has to go down as one of the greatest title changes in UFC history. That was an iconic moment in all of combat sports. Uh, next uh, title change, Leon Edwards versus Kamar Usman in 2022. Now, I still to this day say Leon Edwards knocking off Kamar Usman is one of the greatest upsets in UFC history. 
And it has to go down as that because if you guys remember, Kamara Usman was in control of that fight against Leon Edwards the whole entire fight, all five championship fights. And Kamar Usman was just a minute away of successfully retaining his welterweight championship that he held for quite some time. And Kamar Usman's title reign ended uh, at 1,267 days. But man, it, it's just shocking because when you, when you think back on that fight, he was in control. He just had a coast to the finish line, because, but that's not Kamar Usman's style. He wanted a knockout. And he was trying to get it, but Leon Edwards never quit in that fight. And Leon Edwards, with 45 to 30 seconds left, knocked out Kamar Usman in a big, uh, with a devastating leg kick. And that's all she wrote the Kamar Usman's great welterweight championship title reign and sealed the deal as one of the biggest upsets in UFC history. Definitely will never forget that moment. Man. It's still shocking to, to, to just think about it. Leon Edwards doing that UFC history. But the next one goes down with Sean Strickland versus Israel Adesanya in, in late 2023. Now, still to this day, I do believe that Sean Strickland defeating Israel Adesanya, uh, the way how he did, goes down as the biggest upset in UFC history. I stand on that, and I don't think we're going to see a bigger upset in quite some time to what Sean Strickland did that night. Because Sean Strickland, still to this day, does not have the skills and the assets and the repertoire to be an elite fighter that Israel Adesanya has to this day. Because Israel Adesanya dominated uh, the middleweight division, and he's one of the greatest middleweight champions in UFC history. But Sean Strickland didn't give a damn that night. He went in there and went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Israel Adesanya, dominated one of the greatest middleweights in UFC history for a total of five championship rounds. And Sean Strickland honestly had his way with Israel Adesanya the whole entire fight. And that, to me, that performance has to go down as one of the greatest championship performances in UFC history. It definitely has to go down as one of the biggest upsets in UFC history. But those are my thoughts on the most iconic, most controversial title changes in UFC history.